The Omaha World Herald story says over the past several months, State Auditor Charlie Jansen wouldn't spend hours drinking here at Brewski Sports Bar in Lincoln during work hours. In a statement, Jansen admitted to it and said he's making changes to his personal and professional life. Jansen, who had a brief run for governor four years ago, defended his work as auditor, saying, quote, I asked the citizens of Nebraska, look at our total body of work. I am not a man without faults, but I am also a man that owns up to mistakes and will correct them. Now today, I walked into Jansen's office requesting an interview. They declined, but they did say that he was in today, and that appears so as his white pickup truck is sitting outside the Capitol. Jansen's Democratic opponent, Jane Skinner, says both liberals and conservatives can agree Jansen's actions are unacceptable. When they're spending four hours a day in the office, four days a week, they're not actually doing what the job entails. The deadline for removing a name from the ballot was September 4th. Therefore, Jansen will be up for election statewide come November. While the state Republican Party so far has declined comment, Governor Pete Ricketts said today, quote, while I do not approve of the actions in question, the auditor's office has identified areas where state agencies can improve for taxpayers, and I believe the office has done a good job. The ballot is set for this fall, and Nebraskans will decide this election in November. They basically believe that they have this election in the bag. They don't think that they're that Democratic candidates in this state are viable, so I don't think that they're really willing to make a firm stance on this. And I think that the voters can show them in November that that's a mistake. The state Democratic Party is now using the Jansen story to raise money to boost Skinner's campaign. And God bless the United John States Kipper, of America. Pretty News Now.